What's up, homie? Happy New Year! In today's video, we're gonna do more anime eyes. Today, we're gonna be making Gon. All right, we got the homie Gon right here. The first thing we do is we import our image. We resize it to the size we want. I'm gonna turn off the proportional scaling. Width, 6.8. Height, 3.2. I'm gonna click K to lock that in. Go ahead and save it. I'm gonna put what? The little homie gone. All right, that's saved. Um, first thing we do, let's go make the border for this. Let me see, click it. I'm gonna click satin, turn back on proportional scaling. I think that's kind of, they changed the basing to 0.38. Special, let me change this to metric. I'm gonna put three. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it at three. Let me see my underlay for it. I'm gonna put a edge run and a dig dag. Edge run. Yeah, edge run and a dig dag. All right. Let me see what color do I want it. Since the background is like red, I'm gonna just make it red this time. Um, that's like pinkish. Oh no. Okay, there we good. Okay, I'm uh, actually gonna lock, lock it, hide it, and I'm gonna get started. So the first thing we do is our objects are in the background. In this case, what's in the background is this red background. So pretty simple. We're gonna use the complex fill. I'm gonna like, I'm, I can touch this, so. We're gonna cover it up with outlines and then this part anyway, so this is gonna be covered. How was your guys' new year? Let me know. Um, let me see. Enter, en entry, exit, and then give it the angle. I forgot to click the red. So I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna click red, I'm gonna click escape, I'm gonna click the red again, and then I'm gonna use the run stitch to run down here actually right here enter and then i'm going to continue the column c yeah um for my new year i just spent it with family and i was i was just thinking and thinking i'm like i gotta i gotta be more consistent publish more videos um more tutorials for you guys so a lot is going to be coming on the way Let's see that was a little bit too much yeah a lot is going to be coming on the way i'm going to make a discord for everyone because i know a couple people want to ask me things and a lot of times it's repetitive and sometimes i can't i can't get back to everyone at the same time i click this one and this one let me click shift m which changes it to to tommy Okay, now we're good. Um, click the run stitch. Actually, let me see. Click this again, H, and we're gonna put the endpoint to over here. And then we're gonna run to the other side. That way we take advantage of like no, no trims needed. Enter, column C, run over here. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if you guys hear my son like yelling in the in the background. He's having I guess he's just having fun. That's what we do it for, right? Our kids. Well if you have kids. Alright, um Entry point right here, exit point right here, the angle. Again, shift M. Let me see there's no more background. Okay, there's no more background. On this one, I'm gonna click it. I'm going to click connectors, jump, and I'm actually going to click this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to go to underlay, and I'm already going to give it its underlay, which is going to be tatami. So that's what we have right now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the color white because I want to know what I'm actually drawing because if I do black on black, I'm not going to be able to tell. 
I'm going to go ahead and use the run stitch. I'm going to make this a satin border. So I'm actually going to save that part for last. I'm going to just do well, the black objects. <clears throat> black objects. Okay. So let's see right here to here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do these parts. I'm going to add a border, satin border to these. Enter. Yep. So, um, if you guys want to like request like certain levels for in brilliance, I'm gonna do a uh, in brilliance tutorial literally right after this one. If you guys want to request like a certain logo where you're having difficulty, let me see where did I start? Oh, there we go. Well, up here. If you're having difficult making and I could try to help you, um, send it to me on Discord. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the um the link to my Discord below so you guys can just add me and send me a message with the image and what level you have, and I'll try my best to make a tutorial on it. Enter. So we ran actually right here. So start right here and right here, and then I'm just gonna make this. Yeah, I'm gonna make it like that. And this is going to be the Tommy, so shift M underlay, add the Tommy to it. Let's see where could I make the endpoint? So I'm going to change the endpoint to right here. That way I could just go ahead and click right here, run it to this part. Actually, actually, well, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and make this one actually a satin. Enter. I'm gonna change this endpoint to over here. We can go ahead and run. Over here. Enter. Let me see. Should I? Yeah, I'm probably gonna make this a satin as well. Enter. I don't like the way it looks. Shift M. Change the endpoint to this part. And if, when it's like that, where it's like you could, but you don't know, what I usually do is I, I leave, I click it, I change it to the Tommy. And then when I'm doing my outlines at the end, I basically just add an outline to it. Like basically, it complements the, the Tommy. That's something. Um, I highly suggest you guys do it in case you guys are like in doubt. Let's see, this part is actually small enough to make it satin. But do I have the start and finish on? Let me see. Let me go to settings. Because this joint is not on. Or did I make the press enter? I don't know. Okay, let's continue. Run it over here. More over here. Let's do this. Oh, kind of jumped a little bit too much. Enter, click it. H, drag the endpoint to over here. So not this part. So this part again. I'm gonna add its own um satin border on it. So I'm just gonna make it the tummy. So let's go here. If you hold critical control, not critical. Someone keeps commenting on it like yo, it's control, not critical. And I'm like, damn, I don't know why I keep saying it wrong. <laughs> okay. Over here this part this part this part this part and then just do all the way to the corners like that enter oh sorry just a little bit more over here all right enter so start is right here endpoint i'm gonna put it right here 
and then just give it its angle click it shift m h i'm gonna change it to like 150 yeah 150 basically like if it's coming on this side okay see yeah because i'm gonna give this a corner so you see it's black this is black for the outlines okay let's see i'm just trying to make sure i got everything covered okay now i'm gonna click this i'm gonna put black that's what we have right now and on this one i'm gonna go to oh, actually let me see so remember our tatamis we gotta click it click it click it underlay tatami okay yeah and on this one connectors jump we're gonna jump um let me see what can i do next next would be the green parts where's the green part there's only one green part okay so gone on this part only has one green spot so i'm gonna click on dark green i'm gonna click right here go ahead and make this up here this down here actually i'm gonna give it a little bit more there enter that's fine h actually click on it i think it's what is it yeah critical h you could like change a bit of the angle points but since it's like this yeah slanted that's fine I'm actually going to add an underlay to it. So it's going to be a uh, edge run. Yeah, edge run. And then a zigzag. Just, I don't want it to have a missing spot on it. Um, let's see. So from this, again, connectors, jump. This one jump as well. Okay, what's the jump? I'm going to go ahead and start doing the the face which is like beige i'm gonna right click on this one i'm gonna look for coconut cream yeah coconut cream that's what i usually use for that color i'm gonna start right here i'm actually gonna make since it's like actually yeah um i might make this satin depending on how it comes out looking right now enter i actually do like the way it came out right here i'm just gonna change the spacing for sure to 38 and then this part i will make it a um what do you call it a tatami I'm going to actually click the complex turning. That way, um, I could add more angle to the tatami. And on this part, remember, you could um, take a chunk of the other color. Because no matter what, we're still going to cover it. Go. enter so our start point is right here our end point i'm gonna put it the same over here um give it its angles enter i'm actually gonna click shift m on that part and maybe i'm actually gonna switch it so it's actually gonna do this one first that way this one could automatically be on top so this one i'm gonna click h start is gonna be Right here, and point's gonna be right here, and then this one I'm gonna click H. Wait, that doesn't work. I don't need this one no more, so I'm just gonna click delete. Click it, delete. Isn't it deleting? Click it, delete. Okay, there we go. H, start, endpoint over here. This one, 
start over here endpoint over here there we go i'm gonna go ahead and continue it so basically like a little run right here um complex turning and i'm gonna do the whole outline for the face actually i'm gonna delete this yeah complex fill i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and do all the face control i'm gonna drag it see how this part is mostly a shadow i don't i don't have to do most of this part because i don't want to put a color over another color so i'm actually going to end it right here let's see that's too much this is fine go curve actually that part is not needed this one like since it's a border i'm just gonna keep it as like a safety net for this color that way there's no gap um let's go okay there we go so this one let's see over here Unless you don't want to waste too much thread, you could just, let me see. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Starts to take a little bit of a chunk. That way, the um, there's no gaps. See over here and then almost done. Curve enter. That's fine. Okay, so enter start point end point and then just give it an angle. Shift M S okay. If you zoom out, you see this line right here. So what we could do is change the um change the starting endpoint. So what I'm gonna do is for this one, it ended right there. I'm gonna click run and I'm just gonna make the run to over here. Okay. Enter. So I'm gonna drag this up before this one. Now we're good. Now, if you zoom out, you don't see that line. And if you see that line, let me see, I'm gonna save it. If you see this line, let me see this line. It doesn't look like much, but when you embroider something, that line is gonna be so visible. It's gonna look like you made the whole. It's like if you made a perfect circle, and then you had like extra thread, or loose thread, or a space on that thread. And when I first digitized. I hated this line because I was like, how do I solve this? But at the end of the day it was moving your start and end point for that, for that object. So if you have that issue, use that tip. And I just noticed it. So this eye doesn't have to have, um, the whole Tommy covered. So you could click on add holes. I'm just going to add on like i'm just gonna cut a chunk of the part that we don't need enter enter now we're good yeah we're good um what else click this one underlay for sure tommy this one Tommy. Okay, so now it's gonna be a jump. Gotta jump. Now we gotta do the brown part. So complex fill. I'm gonna start right here. 
over here. I'm going to take a chunk of this part. All right. Let's see. Control. This is going to be covered by a outline anyway. So over here, curve, curve, curve up here. Try to get into like the middle of this. There we go. Nope, too much. Okay. Up here, enter, enter, endpoint, um, and I like slant it, I guess. Click it, um, click on a different color, right click. I'm gonna change that to Lufa. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna change it to light brown sugar because I feel like that will stand out more. Oh, wrong one. This one, there we go. I'm not gonna keep it that color, but it's it's gonna be loofah. But just for the visuals, I'm gonna use um light brown sugar. Actually, since this one's darker, I'm actually gonna change it to loofah. Loofah. All right, there. This is gonna be light brown sugar. Um, let me see. Okay, now I've got to do our white. No, we're still doing the the loop apart. So the ones that I didn't make that were from this part, like this right here. I'm gonna make it. Let me see how big it is. Nope, that's way too big. So yeah, this is actually gonna be a tatami instead of a satin. But for small parts, I like using um that in enter. And to uh, start angle point, let's see. Okay, but shift them. Let's see this over here. Right click, right click, right click. Enter. How big is this? Nah, for this one, yeah, my, I'm actually going to keep it as the satin. 38. No, actually, no, because there's going to be a um satin right here to cover it. So this part right here, this part right here could actually be a satin. It's not that big. And then I could run it to this part. This part, let me see, like that. But since it's um on top of an, uh, it's gonna be below a border. I don't want just two borders to be on top of each other. So after this one, connectors jump. Tommy. Enter. Let's see where else? Okay, this part, right? 
yeah this part and then this part i'm gonna make it well light brown sugar I don't like this curve right here. That's fine. Um, Shift M. Well, it's already at the top. Me perfect. Okay, this little part not gonna cover it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. No, actually, this one right here. Look. Well, this is actually supposed to be the same color. So I'm actually going to make this one dark. Right. Yeah, okay. This part, this part. Um, to the connectors. This is going to be a jump. This one's going to be a jump. This one, I, could, I left it as a run. Jump. Okay. Jump. Over here, jump. Um, let me see. Okay, now this one, light brown sugar. Okay. So, cover this part. Enter, start endpoint, let's give it that angle, it's the Tommy. This one over here. A max complex fill. Yeah. Curve, curve, curve. The curve. Nope, that's too much. Straight, curve, 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 curve. Enter, enter, start, endpoint, give it the turns you want. Okay. So. I'm actually going to have to do this part right here, too. Enter. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, but this one to this one is going to be a jump. Jump. This one. Jump as well. Jump. All of these are tatamis, underlay, tatami, and did I cover, no I didn't, okay so click on the other ones that were tatami as well, add to tatami, these are already covered, so we're good on those, okay, but let me see this one, connector, jump, okay, so far so good. Now we have to do the white part. So I'm actually I'm gonna make this one the detailed version. I wasn't gonna do like all the under all the other colors, but I'm actually gonna do it on this one. Okay, so corner corner. Well, tray, corner, corner. Right click with the curve. Okay. Enter. Enter, exit point, and then give it the angles. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Change it to white, and then add your angle point.
There we go. Let's see like that. Um, click it. Underlay at the underlay connector jump and you see how this part is right here. I'm actually gonna make it a pattern. Here, enter, start endpoint, and then give it the angle that I want. White, shift I, which is gonna be a satin. Um, I'm gonna put it to 42, and I'm gonna put three count, two count, but yeah, two count. Um, see, where is it at? Special. Bills. Okay, no, yeah. 52. 80. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at how seventy looks. Okay, seventy. I'm gonna change this to three. I'm gonna go to underlay. Okay, there's no underlay, so we're good. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna leave it. Click it. Connectors. Jump. Go to the other eye. Complex. Let's see. Get it under that border right here. This is going to come out amazing. I could already tell. Okay, yeah. right click right click i don't like this part right here enter enter start endpoint and then i'm gonna give it this angle actually let's see that angle enter white underlay to tommy I'm not going to add a hole. Should I? I, I added all this one. Down. Now I'm going to keep it like that. But if you want to, if you don't want to waste much thread, you could add a hole right here. Okay, so now. Let's see, we still have the last part of the outlines. Um, okay, so this is white as well. So click this, connectors, jump. And this part too, okay. So I'm gonna add these. Enter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave these brown for now. They don't gotta be perfect. Because it's already thread on it. Yeah, there's already thread on it. Alright. Where else is it white? That's it. Okay. So what did I do for this one? It was 0.7. Okay, 0.7. So white. Um shift I 0.7. Three. Let's see. Was this one connectors jump, jump, jump? But actually, what I could do is this one. Start right here, and right here. This one could be start right here. And it ends right there, so yeah. So this one could actually change it to a run now. Just to escape us uh, just to escape. Just to avoid a trim. Okay, so we gotta do the um, actually I'm gonna make these white too. 
but that's gonna have to damn that's gonna have to be after the eyes are made yeah okay okay so i'm gonna go ahead and make this eye i'm actually gonna make this yellow i'm gonna make this yellow and i'm gonna make this a satin yellow and i'm gonna make this a gold and then satin gold just so it can stand out a little bit more um instead of using too much colors okay so let me get this going oh no i don't gotta i don't gotta really touch this part the bottom enter start endpoint give it its angle this is gonna be gold i mean yeah gold gold golden nugget okay Let me see, I'm going to use, what was it? Complex turning. Take a little bit more from the outside. Enter, and then I'm going to do the inside circle part. Enter. Oh, I don't like the way that looks. Let me see. Right click, right click. Kind of difficult to make the inside circle part enter. Okay, there we go. Um, start endpoint. Give it angles. There we go, we got the ring for it. This should be the same color, 15. And it should be a satin. Because I do want it to stand out. And then the bottom one is gonna be yellow. So, most like, most, yeah, I'm gonna make the yellow actually go before this part, so. Go start it right here. Take a bite over here. Enter. Start exit. Give it angle. And then a curve. The satin for it. Enter. Shift I this on top of this okay underlay click it H is gonna end right here and then it's gonna run basically to this one then it's gonna jump. And the same thing over here. I'm gonna change the endpoint to right here. That way it could start literally right here. Let's see. Hold on. Maybe it's best if I change it to right here. And then this start and end right there. There we go. Um Okay. To the other side now. Curve. Enter. Start endpoint. Go slanted. This is going to be 
What was it? We used 12 for it? No, 15. Okay, 15. It's going to be a jump. And then the complex turning did this. Enter. Enter. Start exit point. There we go. This is gold as well. So these, I'm going to put it before. Oh yeah, it's after actually. Okay. So now it's the yellow part. Enter, start, exit point, give it the angle, then this part, curve, curve, enter, satin, okay, let me just fix this up, so these are going to go before it, so, Connectors, run, jump, run, jump. Run, jump, run, jump. Okay. Um, black. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the complex fill, actually. What does it have? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, complex fill. I'm going to go around this outline, enter, enter, exit, give it the angle, black, black, it's going to be a jump over here, jump over here, same thing. I've got to fix this one being at the top me. Enter, start exit point. Get this way. Yeah, this is shift I at the top me. I mean, a uh, satin. Okay, I'm trying to make this one to a. No, I'm gonna keep these as the top me. Okay, and this is gonna be a jump as well. So click on our the Tommies. Tommy, the Tommy, the Tommy, underlay. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and do our outlines now. Okay, I'm going to use the column C. I'm going to do certain parts first, like this one. Straight down over here. Curve. Curve over here. Enter. I'm actually going to make it like that big. How big is that? Let's check 2.4. Let me show you 3. I'm going to put 3. No. Yeah, two is fine. Or 2.5. 2.5, we're going to keep it at, oh no. Let's see, 2.5. 2.3. 2.3. That's, that's my, what I decided. 2.3. Drag this down. Black. 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 Okay, um, let's see, okay, yeah, so right here, this part, this part, this part, enter, enter, let's see if it's still the same as that one, which was,
Where's it at? Where's my line stain? I'm so lost. Oh, there we go. Okay, 2.5, 2.3. Yeah, it was supposed to be 2.3. 2.3. Run stitch. Is, I'm going to make it run to basically over here because that was supposed to be part of an outline. So do this. Um, S and D, and I'm going to see where our black part is. So it's actually over here. I'm going to go like kind of close to it or on it exactly. Um, this is already its own part. So let's see. Yeah, this one's already its own part. So I'm just going to click a little bit more of this chunk. Enter, enter. And I already have this part, but I'm going to click this, the um, lap corners. Let's see. And this part, I could actually drag it to the end because I don't like the way it looks there. But at the end, we'll do our corrections. Or actually, if I click that and I click Shift M. No. It's because the the hair is, I mean the hair, the ba the beige of the face is on it. But we have to problem solve and get this done anyway. So, um, let me see which one was this one to this one. Okay, yeah, actually, I could actually drag this to the end. There we go. So continue from let's see, start. And over here. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I should have probably done the hair last. Okay. Let's see this part. This part. Yeah, sure. Then the hair last on this part. Let's see. So to end. Okay. Where was I at? It was right here. Where's this? Okay. So right here to. On top of this, on top of that, to this one. Nope. Just to, okay, from this one to this one, let me see H. Change the start and end point. Start and end point. Okay, so which one was this one? Okay, 49. So move this. And then it'll be this one. But let me see if the start. Okay, start and end point. Change it. Start and end point. Oh. Start and end point. Move it again. You see, this is why I should have done my outlines first. But we're already here. So. H. Start. End point. Let's see. This one, okay. Just to this, and then this one would no longer be needed. Actually, yeah, it will. And the reason why is because we're gonna have to still run two over here, okay. So, let me see. Out here, run two over here. 
and then when we run from here so 50 have to add um have to add my own my own border for this one so enter shift i so it's going to be 51 51 ended right here i'm going to drag this up to 51 so where 51 starts and it's supposed to be the exact same spot then you drag this over here. So it's going to go from there to here. Okay, now, um, let's see from that. Start and end point. We drag this a little bit more to over here. Now I can add my, um, let's see, column C. I'm gonna try to put it near where it goes, where my previous outline was. That's too much of a jump right here. Okay. The only thing is the enter, enter. The only issue that I see that I might have Let's see each. Is that I had done the hair previously. So I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to put these. Yeah, I'm going to have to in integrate those to the end. Otherwise. The the skin. Will. Be on top. Of the hair part of the outlines. Okay so. So with these three. Okay so. Okay, 43. So this one, okay, this one is 43, before 43. But we still have to figure out the end point for it. So start and end point. And then it was this one. Okay, so H, start. And then point you gotta be at the same spot as the other one. That way it continues perfectly. Okay. So this part, this part. Okay, so now it has to be no, which one was it? Okay, this one what was it the hair part? I already moved it, so so fifty four is the outline. So I gotta put this one right here. So start and end point. Then it's this. Then this one's irrelevant. But this one I'm gonna click it. Lap corners. Whoa. That's way too much. Let me see. Let me think. Each. Let me change this one. Three more over here. I'm actually just gonna do it like that. But this part is like way too much. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. This is what I get for not freaking doing the outlines first. Always do your outline first, but hey, we'll see how it comes out. Okay.
enter. There's going to be a set in. But again, I'm going to have. Let me see. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to check my sequence on this, but go ahead and do this one first. Enter. This is going to be first. So let me go ahead and start moving stuff around. This is going to be first. It's going to be a jump to the other side. This is going to go to this part. And then we're going to do this part. No, actually, yeah. this part all the way to over here. I'm going to run over here. I'm going to do this part. Then I'm going to do um, this part. And then it's going to do that. All right. Curves. Enter. Gonna be okay. So I'm gonna click this part. Shift I. Um, is gonna do a run. Yeah, a run to this part. Okay, do this part. Enter, shift I, shift I. Oh. Let me send it to this chunk. Well, that's too much. All right. Curves, take a bit of a chunk. Enter, but this one I'm gonna click it again. I'm gonna click H and I'm gonna make the endpoint actually over here. And I'm gonna click this one, I'm gonna click H and I'm gonna make the start point where it ends over here. And I'm actually gonna drag this to the end. That way it has um better sequence. Okay, so we have that part. Should I Okay, let me see. That part is shift I. Connector, jump. The previous one has to be jump from. Okay, this one is a run, 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 run. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm actually gonna jump this one as well. And I'm gonna make a let me see. Vertical D. Drag this to the end. I'm going to change this to a satin. Let me see, where is it at? Wrong one? Yes, yeah, wrong one. Delete. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna click it. Critical Control D. No. Let me just give it on outline. There we go. Actually, let me use the column A. Let me actually make these bigger. There. So that one got this border and I gotta give this one a border too. I'm taking a bigger chunk cause I don't wanna risk it not being inside. Oh. 
enter um okay so this is gonna be a jump jump and that's gotta focus on wait i still got to do this one i still got to do this part of the border and then this part okay but this part i also gotta do Okay, this part, enter, Let's see, yeah, I'm good right here. I should, I need to, I need to write my rules down. I haven't did die since last year. Okay, so this part, this part, enter, escape, and I'm gonna run over here. This part, enter, escape, run over here. Column C, I mean column A. This part. Right. Straight. Curve, straight, curve, straight. Straight, straight. Now this one's a little bit too big. See. I'm actually going to add a zigzag to this one. So under is going to be center run, not edge run, and zigzag because this one is pretty big and I don't want to drop the 38. Okay, so now I gotta do this outline. This one's pretty straightforward. Enter, and I'm actually gonna make it pretty decently big. There we go. What am I missing? I feel like, oh yeah, this part. Um. Start right here. No. Planted. This corner. Plant. Three. Enter. Okay. Facing forty two. Now let me just fix my um spacings and we're gonna be good to go. Okay, that one let me just select point thirty eight. Okay, so it's right here, connector, jump, run, 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 jump. This one, jump, 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 run is fine, run is fine, run is fine, run, jump, jump, and jump. Okay, wow, that was, that was something. Unhide, go to the end. So we have, but I forgot this part. So let me just continue this one. Just, I definitely gonna redo it, anime tutorial, but because of the sequencing on this one. But hey, 
I already recorded it. 38. There's jump. Okay, let me just take a little bit more of that ear. Oh, you see, I missed this part. Thank God, like, and this part. Okay. All right, we're good. Let me see. Um, we'll continue from this part. Okay. Click on H and click this part and this part and drag it more inside. This is going to be a jump, of course, and then I got to do this part. So let's see. I'm going to start it like this. I'm actually going to give this whole thing an outline. I'm, I'm after this one, I'm, I'm automatically going to do another video. So if you're, if you're still here watching this, um, definitely go check out my next video because I'm going to upload them basically, I think at the same time. Oh. Okay, this one, jump, jump, okay. All right, let me see this part as well. So, this one, since this one already has one, we're gonna start from this part right here. Enter this part. Take more of a chunk. Curve it. Continue this part. Curves. All right. Now, oh, it's you guys to make a more detailed one. Okay, so this part, 39. I gotta be above 39, so let's drag this to 39. Okay, 39. So, let me see where this is. Okay, let me see. Okay, so it's at 40. Okay, 39. Let me see. 41. Okay. I'm gonna put these before everything. 36, 37, 39. This is gonna be a jump. These are supposed to be runs. Start, finish. Start, finish. Start, finish. Okay, then it's a jump. Okay. Okay, we're good. Jump, run. Okay. Let me see. What am I missing? Am I missing something? No. Okay. Let me just confirm that I have all my tatamis in order and we'll be good to go. Um, let me see. Tommy, to Tommy, underlay, to Tommy. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna export it. I'm gonna embroider it. I'm gonna show you guys the results. If it doesn't come out good, I blame at the fact that I did not do my. Um, let's see, make this more in here. I'm blaming it on the fact that I did not do my outlines first. 
And then on my next video, if you're going to be watching it, I'm going to do my outlines first. I'm doing it. I'm going to film it right now as well. All right, homie. So it's done. And uh, <laughs> it's done. I was going to say uh, digitizing, but it's done embroidering. But disclaimer, I'm going to show you guys something that happened. You know, this is what happens when you don't work efficiently. Okay, so honestly, it came out pretty good. The only issue was my outline for the main satin border. See? Okay, so let me explain what happened. Let me switch. Okay, so I'm not gonna edit this part out. This time I did make a mistake. Um, I didn't do my process right. I, well, I did did the <laughs> border first, but I hit it and I wasn't working um on the middle parts of it so where you see this line that's where the max where the tatami should have gone so if i click s you can see that let me see i'm gonna click here click s it starts and ends the threads at those points so this part is way too far from it that's why there was a gap so what should have happened all my corners should have been like near our other thread like basically where it starts and so now if you click h on it or you click on it or h it's exactly in the middle part so i'm gonna click critical z to show you guys the big difference so that makes a huge difference on why there was a gap on those parts and basically when we're digitizing it should be it should be exactly near the middle of our satin border that way it would be to avoid the gaps um that's pretty much it let me see i'm gonna delete it this part not that part the border delete and then i'm gonna go from let me see where is it at from where it's at to let me see where is it like this one let me see where the top part at okay so the top part is near here Okay, so it would be like right here. Let me zoom in. Okay, there. So this is a uh, outline. So it would have been like this, and then I would have increased the. Let me see. I would have increased it to three point two. Yeah, I would have increased it to three point two, and made it red, and then obviously edge run zigzag 0.38 see 0.38 save it and that would have been the solution to my gap okay so that concludes today's video if you found it helpful don't forget to leave a like comment um subscribe if you haven't already i'm going to be doing more anime tutorials soon this time i'm going to follow my steps um, but yeah, I want to show you guys, I want to upload this video to basically show you guys how my process and well, at the end I had a little gap, so I showed you guys the reason why it happened and the solution to it. And I'm going to re, I'm going to re embroider it and show you guys on the following video of it with the perfect outlines. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.